Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to play a bit with uh, our friend uh, Magneto. Uh, essentially, this is pretty much my main character on, on uh, PS, uh, PS4. Uh, it's, it's been my main character, I'd say for about two and a half years now. Uh, my main character used to be the Phantom. Uh, that, that's the one I started playing with uh, when I started uh, DC Universe Online. I played the Phantom for about a year uh, until I created uh, my Magneto character for various reasons. So essentially, I created the Magneto to be able to play with a group of friends that was uh, starting fresh. So we all uh, we all had uh, brand new characters and we, we were able to progress together. And uh, I, I ended up liking my Magneto so much uh, and the mental powers. I didn't expect to like a uh, mental uh, that much. But I really enjoyed the mental powers, so I essentially my, my Magneto pretty much became my main character. And also I was playing mostly with my friends. And when I was playing with my friends, obviously I was playing with my Magneto character that I had created specifically to play with my friends. So uh, through various uh, happy accidents, Magneto pretty much became my, my, my main character. Uh, for a bit he was replaced uh, by a, another character called... Uh, at first I would, I would call the character the Promethium Knight. But then I I, uh, I transformed the uh, Prometheum Knight into a Galactus character at some point, and uh, so my my main villain on PS4 is a Galactus character who's uh, not quite. Uh, I think he's combat rating 130 or 130 something. Uh, so yeah, for for a while, uh, my my Galactus pretty much became my main because again I was playing uh, mostly with my friends and my uh, with a new group of friends, and that new group of friends was pretty much uh, uh, always wanted to play a villain, and so I was pretty much always playing my my villain character with my new friends. So my hero character pretty much uh, wasn't the sideline for a while. Uh, thanks to that. But uh, lately, I've started uh, playing my Magneto once more. And now my Galactus uh, fell behind, uh, sadly. Um, also, essentially what I want to do is that uh, right now I pretty much have characters at, at every tier from uh, level 1 all the way here to up, uh, up here to 143. So I'm, I'm going to be able to do videos from uh, every tier. So I, I, I thought I could start. I did so a lot of tier 5 uh, videos because a lot of my characters are tier 5. Uh, but uh, I'll probably start doing some tier 6 uh, content now with uh, our friend Magneto. So let's get started. So I'll, I'll probably start with the vault. I didn't do the vault yet today. So let's get started with that. Nah, the kid's table. I have a lot of those tables, not sure what I'll do with, uh, with them all. I'll probably think of something. Oh, the vault wasn't very generous today. Well, let's just check the mainframe to make sure everything is up to date. Let's check the belt. Although I don't have uh, much in terms of mark right now, but it's okay. As you can see with my Magneto character, essentially I have a purple gear uh, throughout everything. Uh, all I'm missing essentially is a purple belt. And uh, then it, uh, all I'm going really to be missing is uh, essentially gear from, uh, from drops. 
So let's go to the Urgent Warfront, and we're going to go to New Genesis. So you guys are going to see pretty much my uh, routine when I, I play uh, solo. So although I do have a DPS armory, I don't really have DPS gear. Essentially I DPS with my controller gear. And it works fine so far. Against most DPS, I, I still manage to do, to do, to do fine. Uh, but of course, if I'm uh, against, if I'm uh, with uh, a nice, uh, a nice DPS, uh, or one of the current, uh, let's say, more powerful DPSs, uh, I don't, it might be another story. Although sometimes I'm, I'm surprised, because uh, essentially I manage to, uh, as you'll see, I, I manage to pretty much uh, use power at infinitely, like uh, one power after the next. I can go on and on and on as long as I want. As long as I don't break into a weapon mastery combo or something, I, I can keep on going. And even then, I, I sometimes I'll, I'll still be able to keep on going. Which always makes me puzzled when I see uh, DPSs, or especially mental DPSs. Like this, I'm playing a mental character and I, I, uh, I can use my powers uh, as much as I want. The same with Quantum. Like the other day I was doing a, a duo with another Quantum guy and we essentially we had we had the same character. I think there's maybe one power he was using that I wasn't using, but other than that, we were pretty much using the, the same the same thing. And uh, he, somehow he, he 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 couldn't keep up with me. Uh, not because of the powers. Uh, it's just that somehow he would run out of power, where I could keep on going and going and going. So he would he would do powers for a while and then. Uh, It would do powers for a while and then switch to weapon attacks and then would do powers, switch to weapon attacks, as opposed to I was I would go power 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 and that 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 and somehow he, he couldn't keep up with me. And I'm no way a good a great DPS. I'm 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 okay. Uh, I can do it well enough so that if if uh, if if people ask me to change, yeah, I, I can say I can switch to DPS. And uh, once in a while, a guy will say, "Hey, can you switch to DPS?" I'll I'll say sure. So I am I, I can do it, but I, I wouldn't be I, I'm not really the, the greatest at it. So I, having the choice, I would I'd prefer to go with controller uh, because it's what I'm more comfortable with, and also it's what I'm geared for. So. But I, I can DPS and it won't be a disaster. Unless I'm against a ice DPS or something. And I remember at some point when people were complaining that uh, quantum DPSs were too powerful. Uh, somehow I was able to out DPS a lot of DPSs uh, with my Magneto. A lot of quantum DPSs with my Magneto, uh, not because again I'm the greatest DPS there is, but essentially I, I understood that uh, the the quantum uh, uh, DPSs need uh, essentially time bomb to do a lot of damage. And if you manage, if you're with a quantum uh, controller, uh, quantum uh, DPS, and you want to out DPS them, very simply is that if you manage to kill uh, all the mobs before the time bomb explodes. Uh, the guy will do barely no damage, so you'll do a lot more damage in a quantum uh, DPS if 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 you manage to to kill all the mobs before time bomb hits. Oh, against the bosses, there's not much you can do. You can't you can't prevent unless you can one shot the bosses for some reason. And if you do, that means you're way over geared. Uh, against the bosses, you won't be able to stop quantum bomb. But uh, I mean time bomb. But uh, most mobs, you, you can pretty much wipe them out before Time Bomb uh, even has a chance to set in. And 
now mass uh, levitation is pretty much uh, my most useful uh, power. It's my power that does the most damage uh, when I do it at the end of uh, my uh, power combos, I suppose. Or po advanced mechanic, I should say. Well, I should probably take a second and, or two to explain it properly. Essentially, if you look at my loadout, what I'm using is Psychic Resonance, a tele Telekinetic Push, Bastion, a Telekinetic Bolt, Psychic Shock, and Mass Levitation. And essentially, I, say, I start the cycle with Psychic Resonance, and then I cycle through Telekinetic Push, Telekinetic Bolt, Psychic Shock, and then I end with Mass Levitation. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, if I need some survivability because uh, some mobs are beating the crap out of me, or if I run out of power for some reason, which rarely happens, then I'll cast a Bastion. And uh, for Telekinetic Push, tele Telekinetic Bolt, and Psychic Shock, it doesn't matter in which order I, I cast them. As long as I cast all three of them, then when I hit with uh, Mass Levitation, uh, usually Mass Levitation does a, a fairly good amount of damage. Uh, sometimes it, it does a lot more damage. Uh, I guess when it does a critical, I suppose. I'm gonna drop that now. There we go. Oh, that's why. Okay. I was wondering why. Uh... So sometimes, once in a while, a mass levitation will be just a love tap, and other times. It will do a lot of damage. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because of I messed up the combo, the the, the cycle somehow, or if maybe it's just uh, when it crits, it crits big, and most of the time it doesn't really crit. Could be. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. It, it, it usually does the trick. Oh, I'm talking too much and not paying attention enough. But other powers, uh, like essentially uh, fire or ice, uh, as you can see, my, my my main attack or my attack that does a lot of damage is mass levitation, which is is which is essentially my last attack. But in order to reach it, I have to go to cycle through pretty much all my powers, and then I can cast it. As opposed to other powers like uh, ice or fire, seems to be able to uh, do their big attack right away, and uh, so often they'll 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 essentially destroy. Uh, they'll do essentially what I, I I mentioned about the quantum, like they'll sometimes they'll they'll destroy the enemies before I can I can reach uh, mass levitation. So when that happens, uh, there's I, there's no way I can keep up uh, in terms of, of pure damage. And also, there's always the the phenomenon of uh, the guys who don't want to click the clickies. Like sometimes you'll have objectives, like you have you'll have some console to click, or you'll have uh, some controls to activate, or things like that. And uh, people who somehow there's some people who will not not click on those ever. They'll 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 expect you to do that for them. Which is probably another way for them to try and uh, inflate their numbers, I suppose. Which, personally, I don't care. So I don't care if the guy does uh, three times, four times, ten times my damage uh, because I'm, I'm clicking the clickies or I'm doing the, the objectives while he's, he's just uh, killing enemies. If it makes him happy to do a lot of damage, well, I have no problem. Uh, personally, what makes me happy is, is being able to complete the mission. Uh, if I need to activate the console to complete the mission, I don't care. And you'll notice uh, I probably should uh, restart the cycle when I get interrupted. But uh, again, I, I usually continue where, where I'm at and uh, the, the cycle will repeat itself again. So let's go collect our marks and our box With your help, we will fight off dark side's parademons. so what's in the box 
And of course, two two rings. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Because obviously I will not use it. I'm going to uh, to salvage it for the salvage feed. So essentially this character and my Galactus characters uh, character are the ones that uh, I use for the salvage feeds. So I suppose I can go back to my base now. And if you're wondering how come I have a, a room here, I essentially I made it through with using these uh, these sort of uh, console panels or whatever you could call them. And I made myself a little hospital here in that suite. This is what I was looking for. So let's see if we can do some uh, some tier six duos. Uh, I'll I'll keep the demon pit for later. I need more of those screens. Uh, I'll probably put a couple more in a few places. And that stasis spot is uh, it's kind of cool. These are nice, uh, nice consoles. Oh, I'm in the Suicide Squad. So let's bow to our... F oh, not quick enough. Well, that's okay, I'll have time before she opens the door. the cores from within the indigo light of compassion can cleanse this corruption I'm not sure why sometimes I, I'll target something like through the wall uh, sometimes I have a hard time uh, targeting the, the, the pillar. I like the, the corrupted uh, crystal. Well, let's go for the. Uh, some evil lantern uh, rose. Now where's our friend? Oh, typical.
the corruption. So you can see our friend is using uh, the same power as I am, but he's using, uh, instead of using uh, mass levitation like I am, he's using mass terror. Which I think is, uh, is a powerful combo. Like we could compare, I suppose. Uh, but I assume he's wearing uh, full DPS gear, so you can see the difference. Uh, between uh, someone using uh, controller gear. Although I have no idea if... Uh, if uh, uh, Mass Terror could be more powerful than uh, Mass Levitation. I know that in PvP a lot of people were using it, uh, so maybe, maybe it is. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure what our friend is waiting for, but anyway. Also, yeah, I forgot the distance. I tend to stay a bit far away from uh, from the enemies. So that probably doesn't help. Normally, I would go with a focusing element. Oh, well, yeah, let's go with that. I'm not that. I don't need the salvage speed uh, all that much. I used to be the one uh, destroying the uh, the corrupted pillars in here, but uh, now we just focus on the uh, on Hawk Girl and don't even bother with the crystals anymore. So let's give a little, uh, a little bow to our friend who did a good job. Uh, he did a lot of damage. I guess I can. Uh, take comfort into thinking that I did more power out. But who cares? So let's see what we got. Some boots. 
only good for salvage, and that's it. But I guess with the new system, since we can choose a, a mark instead of choosing gear, uh, we do end up having uh, less gear to salvage, which is okay in my book. I uh, don't really need it that badly. So let's do maybe one last one. Uh, well, let's go for a uh, down, down, and down. So essentially, I have a, so essentially, I'll use a controller gear as a DPS, and it will usually works well enough. And if I have DPS gear, I'll put the beta mods. Uh, because again, there's no, uh, there's no way really that I'll, I'll uh, there's no way really that I'll mod uh, two sets of gear, three if you count uh, PVP gear. Oh, you got a nice look. That deserves a little thumbs up. Or, uh, strangely enough, I haven't seen that many people uh, wearing the shock jock uh, equipment. Uh, if I see that our friend uh, needs extra power, I'll uh, I'll probably switch to the controller. We'll see. I think we'll be fine. I guess you just saw what happens when you zoom in too close, you don't see the arrow. Let's go with the might, I'm not sure if... Uh, oh. 
Not as cool during. I'm a sweet wolf for our friend. Oh no, I was pulled. As you can see, Mass Levitation uh, usually does the trick uh, when it comes to crowd control. Although there are some times when it, when it seems to work uh, better than others. Could be the dominance requirement of the mission, but usually in duos there is no such requirement. Usually I would try not to break the barrel, but nah, I don't think we'll, we'll really need the barrel today. I could use my uh, backup or my orb orbital strike, but I'm going to keep it for the the, uh, the last boss. I don't think we really need it. Uh, the guy is almost uh, almost dead, anyways. And there we go. Again, the same weapon twice. Doesn't really matter, but uh, I don't want to break that yet. Ideally, uh, you want to try to focus on Mantis, uh, but we got rid of the other two goons, uh, anyways. A little uh, victory thumbs up for our friend. 
I don't know, why not Bo as well? He did he did a good job. Uh, let's go with the channeler. I won't really use them, but no. It's going to be a few things to salvage. And uh, I think that will be it for now. I guess we could do maybe another duo, but uh, uh, maybe next time. Essentially, next time we'll try to do the legal uh, duo, the Flash Museum, and uh, maybe even the Demon Pit. We'll see. Definitely, I'll do uh, the Secret Cathedral. Will, will be will be next in line. But at this time, it, uh, I'm not sure if I would be able to get a group before it's a little too late. So well, let's wait for tomorrow. And also tomorrow I'm gonna essentially tomorrow I should be able to do the the secreted cathedral and the elite version. So I will see. So that's it for now guys. So thanks for listening and hopefully uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye bye.